What is up guys, I'm Rusty Man, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. So, we came back from the ball after uh, securing our allies and saving Selene, and gaining some elvish allies, I imagine, from the end of it. So, with that in mind, we also have Morgan now in the... Uh, Morgan was with us, and... It's time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? We're well loved in Orlais. Say the words and Empress Selene will send her support. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orlais' support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. They'll be easy to talk. That's what we want. Demoralized soldiers fall first. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. Good of Corypheus to make it easy to find him. If he's hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we finish him. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Why, well, hello, Morgan. Fortunately, Welcome. I can assist. You have my attention, Lady Morgan. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? It is best if I show you. Hmm, how <laughs> daring. Now, do I, do I want to know what's about This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. It's beautiful in its way. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about this. <clears throat> I don't know about this at all. The fade, I'm gonna guess. If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the crossroads. A place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. Is this place dangerous? It feels... Unnatural, yes. We are, however, in no immediate peril. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark. Broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but 
only a few. Hmm, interesting. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. What does that mean? If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places between, like this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I had a respite with the man I loved. But only for a time. One cannot remain in between forever. What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key. The key can be many things. Each Alluvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. Interesting. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Cool. I like a little background. That's pretty cool. Interesting. All right. That was interesting. So let's go back. What the hell? Oh, is this that one room I went into? It sure is. Um, what's up here? Hmm. Oh, it's this. Okay. This actually... Whoa, wait a minute. I've never been on this side. Where does this lead? Interesting. Alright. Anyways, let's go back to the... Uh, over here. Yep. Travel to location. We need to go finish Josephine's quest. That's what this whole thing was. We got sidetracked by Morgan and uh, Fade in the Adventures of the Hero of Ferelden. Yes. Very good. First, let's go. So it sounds like the final battle's coming close to approaching, I guess. Which is pretty cool. Alright. Ooh, and Morgan's with us. Isn't that nice? Alright, so we have some beautiful perks. Let's see what we got. Tempered glass. Uh, let's go back. What about secrets. Optimal cutting. Eagle eyed enhanced studies. Deft hand spawn tools. We're totally grabbing that. And uh, now we can actually go into some of those doors. Right, let's go to our lays. I believe this is where this was. Forging away forward. Separate port. Speak with sister. Boom. Separate port. Beautiful. Good morale, good job. Very nice, Colin. You did good. Ambassador Monte, it was lovely to see you in the Winter Palace. Your presence. Um, actually, let's go talk to Josephine first. Before we do any choices right here, let's go talk to Josephine. And find out what she has to say. Let's go. Yeah, alright. Josephine! Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? Yes. What is our next What's move? What's the next favor we need to get these duparakets a lordship? We must persuade the Minister Belize to ratify the papers. She's in charge of these matters of rank. The Minister will be at a small fete thrown by the Marquis with Scott. I'll get you an invitation. Thought we already had an invitation, you son of a bitch. Alright, uh... Fuck. Well, let's go, uh... Fuck around some more, I guess. Yay! Olé. 
days, my friend. Uh, aid those impacted by the Civil War. Alliance is rich. Mm. Those years are a stubborn threat. The most efficient way to deal with them is to nullify the social alliance. But the only way important. Our hands are tied. You face difficult tasks of asking. It was so interesting so. to see how much has changed in Halam Shiral. And so little. Madame Meprise is a fixture. The sun will grow cold before she retires. Mm. Fort Cassandra. Sleep with the Minister, okay. Well, we've already done that. Well then what? There was initial we already did that. Well why the hell is it still here? Um, Dorian has completed research. Maybe it's over in Ferelden. Look at negotiations. King Alistair. Um, search for the hack rider. Really? You did not notice? I had no idea Lady Beverly was one of your people. You might have told me before I embarrassed myself. Hmm. Man, where do I go? What do I do? Where do we go? Where's Captain Joe. Um, the other army with the Inquisition forces, weakness of the veil. Well, let's send Colin, I think, will be the quick for that. Inquisitor. Let's send Colin there. My dear Inquisitor Shepard. Montillion. All right, investigate the Elven Ruins. Locate Rees, find a source spot. Jesus Christ, which one do I do? Pull up Cassandra. Isn't that it? That's it then, right? Well, let's go talk to Josephine again, I guess. I don't know. Retarded. What are we doing? I don't know. Oh. Through here. Any news on the House of Repose? Yes. Oh. Didn't... Isn't it over? What's the next favor we need to get these Duparakets a lordship? We must persuade Minister Belize to ratify the papers. She's in charge of these matters of rank. The minister will be at a small fete thrown by the Marquis Wiscott. I'll get you an invitation. Well, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> I don't get it. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, is this it? Nice look, man. Letter written by this, that. Is this it? Ah, here we go. Finally. Let's go. Oh, I actually meant to travel there. Son of a bitch. Okay, let's go. We can finally do this quest. Holy crap. All right. Merrick is good with us. He's still doing his, like, red dance of death thing. I don't know. Sandra and... Hmm. Let's grab Lady Vivion, I guess. Good fun. That should be good enough, right, Lady Vivian? Lady Vivian, please come to me, Miss Vivian. Thank you for seeing me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs, it's hardly worth it. I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate these du paraquettes to a minor lordship. Tell me, why should I allow you to pollute the Orlesian nobility any further than it's already been muddled? Hmm. Uh... Surely even a minister could do worse than have the Inquisition in her debt. I am a well-positioned woman. I require something more concrete than vague promises of future gifts. And do not attempt to charm me. I am far too old to tolerate it. What can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort? <laughs> yeah! 
I don't think we'll be missed from the party for a while. Are you quite serious? <laughs> for the pleasure of your company, Minister. Absolutely. <laughs> Lock the door. Oh, and fetch me some pillows. Yeah, so uh, that just happened, and yeah. We totally banged her. Yep. We gave her the night of her life. Because we are shipping and the Inquisitor and Harold's and Andraste. The Harold and Andraste. You know what? Fuck it. The Andraste is Harold. Yeah, there we go. I must return to Valrayo to see that everything is in order. Please join me when you can. Are you kidding me? Uh. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Valrayo. All right. Um. Looks like it's over here. Yeah, sure, whatever. Just travel there. It's fine. Oh, God. Grab, grab, and, you know, actually, let's take the black wall. There we go. That should work out, right? Yeah. Getting Josephine's work done, and I had to do work to do it. Okay, and here we are. So let's go see who do we gotta talk to. All right, so we got the two people you're gonna speak with. I'm gonna go check out uh, the other person before I talk to Josephine first. I don't have a concern about this. Let's go see what happens. And when it all cleared, she was still in charge. So what was the point? What do you think of the Inquisition now? Their fortunes have certainly changed. It's still very dangerous to send Remember weapons what? all the way to Skyhold. Oh, Selene has offered incentives for any merchant willing to make the trip. Wait a minute, what? Alright, whatever. I guess we're going over here. First. I like how I'm still wearing this... My royal formal outfit. I hope I don't need to fight. At least I got my blades on my back, so that's good. Mm. Alright, there's Josephine. My dear Josephine, Lady Josephine. Well, hi, Liara. I received a letter from the House of Repose, Your Worship. They acknowledge their contract is null and void. There is no longer a price on my life. I'm glad you don't have to live your life looking over your shoulder anymore. I regret we were forced to deal with them. That you are endangered by my part in the game. Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer. Bards entertain the Orlesian courts. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and spy. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. How did you come what to What made it? you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Valroyo when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antifa, decided this exciting life was for us. You seem a bit... Steady for such an outgoing lifestyle. <laughs> the life of an entertainer didn't suit me at all. During one particular intrigue, I encountered a bard sent to kill my patron. Liliana. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bard threw a knife and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. You were only defending yourself. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug, I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. He 
He seemed willing enough to murder you for the game. Perhaps. I feel I'm the last to judge whether or not he would have actually used the blade. In all the commotion... Uh, forgive me. I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. You don't I'd do to. it again in a heartbeat. Such a gracious woman deserves nothing less. I... Such talk. I'm quite overcome. Should I stop? Oh, no. I mean, yes. I meant... No, I, I, I don't... Well, if you meant to draw a blush to my cheeks, you've completely succeeded. Let's return to Skyhold before anyone notices. Success! <laughs> Alright, so there we go, we did that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, turn to the worm to plan. There's a quest down here, let's go check it out. I'm interested, I'm intrigued. What quest could be down here? Hmm, I wonder. The lover is a letter from Eleni. He's safe with his family in the Dales. My Eleni, oh bless you. The Dions will sponsor the Duparakens as a family deserving of a noble title, Inquisitor. You have my word. Now please, forgive my hastiness, but I must read Eloli's words. Make her keep you. Right. What's over here? Oh, he's up top. Right? What are you doing down here? Looking very suspicious. Yeah, suspicious indeed. Alright, so we gotta go up top. Or we don't. Whatever. I'm over it. Let's go. To Skyhold. Okay, and we are back at Skyhold. And it's actually been like a day or two since I last played. Uh, even though we left off right in the middle of that video, but uh, I took a break. And uh, yeah, we're back. And we get to judge somebody. So let's go judging, shall we? Yes. Judge. First, this wasn't my idea. It is an issue born of titles and heir apparency and... <sighs> Halam Shiral is having difficulty freeing trade routes formerly controlled by Duchess Florian. Had she been tried, her assets would be forfeit and considerable bureaucracy avoided. So they ask that we judge her. Uh, she's dead. Are you serious? I did my part. She's dead. That was the time allotted for rebuttal. Her crimes negated any claim to... <sighs> Forgive me, there is an order. <clears throat> Community service. I call for rehabilitation. The Skull shall do public theater about the evils of evil. I also judge the box. End table for orphans. That's quite enough, Inquisitor. Point taken. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Awesome. I like it. <laughs> As the wrong way. Yeah, that was the wrong way. It was. Okay, so let's go back. Let's see, um... Yeah, Josephine, we are done with you, yes? Nothing left. Leliana wished to speak with you, Inquisitor. It seemed rather urgent. It's good to see you. How are you always How so you polite? so civil with everyone, Josephine? Bonds of circumstance among the nobility are fickle. Civility is the only constant everyone admires. And I do deplore rudeness in those who know better. I see. Well, but doesn't it get Does it tiresome? Does become a strain sometimes? Well, it can be trying. 
There is no shortage of self-regard among the nobility. The game can be wearying, discouraging, and extremely baneful. But honestly, I'd miss meeting people. I've made the most fascinating friends. I have like One good thing about becoming Inquisitor has been meeting so many different people. I'm pleased. I imagine we appear a strange bunch to those outside our circle. Mages, Templars, Seekers, and an apostate elf are not often found working in harmony. Or at all. Yes, anything what to report. people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of this. Okay, that's Let's speak later. Farewell. Yes. Yes, let's speak much later. Join the Liana at the Chantry in the lands. All right, let's head to, let's go do that, I guess. We'll go take care of uh, Liliana's issues before we make the final attack. Deal, you know, build our forces. Make sure we have plenty to fight. At least I don't, I don't know if it's the final attack. I'm assuming it is, but I don't know. Um, where do I do that at? Find, let's just say find the warden, new crew, preparations for Redcliffe, Dorian's request. Are soldiers ready? As ready as they can be. We're asking a lot of them. Judgment. Investigate Elven Ruins. Support Cassandra. Alright, we'll At do that. Service. See, locate Reese. Where am I supposed to go? Alright, I wonder if it's just one of the map things where I just go to the map. Let's go find out. Alright. World map. Uh, yep, there it is. Let's go travel. Okay. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, we got Varric. Good old Varric. So I think we'll take, uh, uh, you know, we'll bring Varric along. Why not? I think we'll bring my dear Vivian. Or do we want Solus? Ah, uh, we'll bring Vivian. Perfect. There we go. Beautiful. See you when we're done loading. Just as I remember it. You've been here before. You didn't tell me you'd been here before. After the blight ended, I came here to see Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. It's too quiet for comfort. I didn't expect it to be so... deserted. It makes me uneasy. It's a small village and it's too early for the chant. I'm sure the sisters are somewhere. Liliana? Is that you? Sister Natalie? What are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No. I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? My lord, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. Yo, baby. <laughs> I'd rather not be recognized. I wish more people would fail to recognize me. Oh, uh... I see. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Uh, I don't think Justinia's it's just Indian. letter came with instructions for me. Oh, hello. What do we got here? Remember that sprung from the barren branch. That light has no fear of darkness. Above all, that strength lives. Oh my god. There's so much crap. 
the clue that the light has no fear of dark. I just heard it. I heard the door. I heard a door. Open the hidden chamber. All right. Got here. <gasps> Sorry to keep you waiting. What? Uh, it's about time. Finally, I was getting tired of all these tricks. They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple, and you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickle with burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Uh, okay. Who is this grand cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. What were your plans? I want to know Ooh. what this grand cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thidas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Stop us? He must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. We don't have to be at odds, Natalie. You could come with us. Join the Inquisition. I was called to serve the Grand Cleric. I will not betray her. Fine. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah. This has to be done. You know it. I see what you've become. The righteous stand before the darkness, and the Maker shall guide them. <laughs> That's right. Death to all who oppose me. No, this can't be it. There's nothing here. It's not what you expected. That doesn't mean it's nothing. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She, she's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but my conscience that bore the consequences. What was she in the Fade? apologized in the Fade. She said she failed you. This is what she meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. Stop torturing then you have yourself. To let, it go. let her go. You don't owe her anything anymore. This? Now? After everything you've said and done? And my poor dear Natalie. I called her sister once, but I couldn't risk leaving her alive. Don't tell me to let it all go after all I've sacrificed to get here. Don't 
Justinia tried to save me. But all it's done is made me realize I don't need saving. There is work to be done. I'll see you back at Skyhold. Okay. Whatever. Sure thing, Lady Liliana. We got loot. <laughs> oh, dude, she she was gonna stab you. Look at that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Let's get rid of all this crap we don't need. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to destroy it. Yes. Destroy. Destroy. Yes. Let's get rid of all this crap. Give me my dagger. Whoa, she was up. Did you see that? She's faking. She is a bartender. Alright. Anyways, let's leave. Check on Liliana at Skyhole. Oh, I, I will do that. Let's go to Skyhole. Um, -na 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 -na. We'll see what happens. I have a feeling we just made her go crazy. I have a feeling Liliana's gonna lose her fucking mind here in a minute. Okay, let's go check out on Liliana. My dear Liliana, please don't kill yourself. Well, whatever you do. It sounds like she will, but she definitely seems like uh, she's uh, she's lost it a little bit. Excuse me, part of me coming through. Yes, I'm also gonna level now. Sweet. So, uh, what is up? Yeah, I got some stuff for you. Help. Never mind, I don't have anything for you. I will see he gets it. Uh, whatever. Carol, they serve together. Inquisitor, may I have a word? I of noticed course. you've paid Lady Montelier quite a number of compliments. Uh oh. Uh, I, I do yes, like her. I enjoy her company very much. An entanglement with our ambassador seems most unwise. I asked Josephine to join the Inquisition because we needed a diplomat. Not so she could be toyed with. I'm not toying with her. I enjoy being with Josephine. I'm not trying to break her heart. Then I would be more cautious. Josephine's no stranger to courtly intrigue. But love? There she's an innocent. She has no idea you are truly attracted to her. If indeed you are. What do you have against the idea of me being attracted to Josephine? I have not known you long, Inquisitor. Neither has Josephine. Her heart is easily carried away. I want to be sure it's taken by someone who truly cares. So, if you feel anything towards Josephine, I want to know. I am interested yes. in her. I'm very attracted to Josephine. Is that so? Whatever is between you. I ask that you treat her with kindness, for her sake, as well as yours. I'm Whatever glad happens, you I'm glad to see Josephine has a concerned friend here. I have so few true friends these days. Those that are left I deeply cherish. I will not trouble you any further, but I do watch over my friends. Good day, your worship. So yeah, you just basically threatened me. I got it. Yeah, well, I need to go check on you now, Liliana. I'm trying to talk to you, Liliana. Grand cleric Vitois is scrambling after the loss of her ancient. Good. Her support base is in morale. Tear it down. Liliana. Grand cleric Victoire wishes to make an enemy of the Inquisition. I'll give her what she wants. Doesn't Victoire have a young cousin, Lord Firmin? She dotes on him. Yes, mistress. I believe that is so. Good. Have him collected. He shall be an honored guest. And make sure the Grand Cleric hears about it. At your command. We've created evil Liliana. Uh, uh, fine work. Good work with the Grand Cleric. Thank you. I do what I can. You see, when I'm ruthless, it gets us where we need to be. It's something to be proud of. Why fix it? How funny that her regret is what finally puts my own to rest. I chose to become her left hand, knowing what it meant. It was my weakness that stopped me from fully committing to my task. Uh, okay, I don't, I don't You like have this. a good heart. <laughs> it's not a weakness. You are too kind, Inquisitor. Call it what it is. 
The Inquisition needs me just as the Divine did, to do what no one else dares. Death and deception are my trade. It is what I am. It is what I always will be. Dear God, what have we created? Well, oops. <laughs> yeah, we done, uh, we done goofed. We done goofed with this one. Yeah, we did. We done goofed with that. She's, uh, she's lost her mind. No people to judge, sadly. Ah, double down. Let's see if Josephine has anything to say then. Well, Liliana just gave me quite the speech. What about? About us. <sighs> oh, she is impossible. Might we discuss this somewhere more private? Of course. Liliana said I was an innocent in love? <laughs> more or less. Of all the... I'm quite capable of understanding our association. I've never thought your intentions were overly romantic, Inquisitor, I, I assure you. <laughs> Perhaps I should have composed a ballad then, or sent roses. What? You mean you do? We've only just... I, I didn't wish to presume you harbored any uh, tender feelings for me. What I do? I won't deny a certain captivation, Josephine. But we haven't even known each other a few short months. How can you declare this liking for me after such a brief time together? Ooh, oh. Oh, th these choices here. Hmm. This one will probably do good, but this one might do good as well. I don't know why I can't stop thinking about you, Josephine. I only know that I do. I would not object to a closer relationship between us, my lord. If that sounds agreeable to you. Uh... Thank God. Oh, Actually, I'm quite glad Liliana prompted this talk. I suppose she was right after all. Please don't tell her I said that. I wouldn't dream of it. Really? Well, there you have it. Josephine is mine. And now I get to walk out of this stupid room because there's no easy way out of it. <laughs> really is such a weird way to go to get to your room. But whatever. It does not matter. It matters little, doesn't it? Yes. All right. Let's go see. Does she have anything else to say? Are we done? How are you, my lord? Thinking how lovely you are. The most beautiful woman in the entire castle. That helps a great deal. <laughs> Oh my, you flatter me much too much. Much too much? Let's talk about us. Does anyone gossip Does about us? together set any tongues wagging? Undoubtedly. A rumor already gave you a dozen suitors the moment you took your title. Hmm. So Liliana... Why was Liliana so set against us being together, Josephine? I'll think nothing of it. She'd disapprove of anyone I chose to keep serious company with. Back in Valroyo, Eliana was practically my older sister. So you two, so you two never had a romantic history together. A romantic? You did hear me say Leliana was like a sister to me. <laughs> She's a most dear friend, and nothing more. Hmm. Goodbye. Let's speak later. Another time. Yes, another time. Let's go declare war. Oh. And fight things and destroy things and all sorts of things the Inquisitor does. Mostly destroying lives and ending people's whatever. Alright. Anyways, let's see. What do we got actually left? We do have to do this. Liberate the Empress and investigate the Elven Ruins. Oh, we'll go take a look at this. Any word? 
Nothing yet. Boom. All right, cool. We have a new area unlocked. Beautiful. And let's see what we got. Judgment Duchess in the box tour. So the Grand Duchess Florence Piers are maneuvering to claim her place at court, or at least try try and cannibalize the largest portion of it. Okay. So Liliana, I'm gonna guess can do. Oh nope, Colin. Colin. Go take care of it, my dear friend Colin. All right. Well, we have that one done. All right. What else we got? Let's get the ancient laboratory. Well, I've heard you that. We have. This is taking two hours. Good thing. Let's see. Reparations. Alright, Liliana. At your service. Josephine, sorry. Take care of that. Alright, so that's everybody, right? Everybody's deployed. Shit, I didn't want to do that. Awesome. Whatever. Alright. Find the Tome Knight? What did that say? The Tome Knight? Where's the Tome Knight? Ooh, the Knight's Tomb. Alright. That sounds awesome. Let's go do that. What are this? 11 quests here? Holy shit. Oh, this is all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Anyways, I'm going to end this up here, guys. So, hope you like this video. Like it if you do. Comment down below. And subscribe if you're not going to subscribe. Join the rest of Gamma's I'm part of the community and welcome if you do. I do appreciate it very much. We're already like over 250. That's freaking crazy. It's like 90 subs and not even a month. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> Anyways, with that, I'm out. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.